Hey, Sneaky News back today with a final one on Puppy 5.1. Uh, fully loaded it. I've got everything you can think of in it. Well, lots of anyway. As you can see, I've got some nice new icons on my desktop. I downloaded them as well. Nice little, little set of backgrounds. Looks really funky. Okay, we'll start the button. Got some stuff here. Clam bombers on there. Why I installed? Don't know why, but it was there to download, so I did it. Google Earth works perfectly, as you can see. I'll give you a little quick clue, just to say I'm not lying. It don't crash and all that sort of things you expect people to see. So I'm not going to say it. And there we go. Google Earth comes up nice, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in a couple of times on that, but into that really. So we'll zoom in onto the sea because I like the sea. We'll zoom in there, zoom in there, zoom in there, zoom in there. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And I'll get them little islands in the Atlantic there. I think if I, my geography gets me right here, that should be Cape Verde, I think, or Verde. I can't actually remember the proper name. But tiny islands, tiny islands anyway. In the middle of nowhere. A bit like where I live, really. And there you go. Zoomed in. Last zoom. In we go. There you go, all works, and yes it works, all doesn't crash or nothing like that, so that's super duper, that's enough of Google Earth. Anyway, what else I'm going to show you? Okay, utilities, I'll put Emacs on there, Emacs 23, I'll put Composer on there, so I'll open up Composer, and there's all the wine stuff there as well, don't know why I did that. So like Composer's there for to do all your web stuff, brilliant. Next I'm going to go down a bit further, we'll go to graphics. Blender, as you've seen before, Photox for your photos, the full Inkscape Vector Graphics Drawing Program, that's all there for you. We'll come out of that, go to the next one, open up the menu, which is just a right click by the way. Graphics we've just done, Gimpy I've put in, as a couple of others there I've put as well. Scribus, one of my favourites, I don't know if you do any desktop publishing, but it's lovely, beautiful, works perfect, especially when export it into PDF, comes out lovely. Ideal for me because I do a bi-monthly newsletter for some of my clients, or people I do work for, or help them out, one or the other, whatever you want to call it. So that works fine. Go to the next one. Personal, not too much in personal. Ooh, I do like B-Crypt though, lovely, one of my faves. Go down a bit further. FileZilla I put in, as you can see. Nice one. Internet, so it's so big and quick. Loads in internet. It's every browser you can think of, except Opera. I didn't put it in. Eudora. E Eudora, should I say. Bidori, web browser. That's lovely. Skype is down there. Transmissions down there. Also, if you want to do that sort of thing, I don't really get much use for it personally. You get down there. That's standard anyway. Multimedia, another load. Every Max I put in, and Cinerella, as I can't really have open shot at the moment. Uh, M players there as usual. Kino is there. I've done it. Does work. That's fine. Linux Multimedia Studios works lovely, as you can see before some of the other videos I've done. VLC works perfectly. What more can I say, really? It all works super duper. And fun. We've seen it anyway. Oh, yeah. Card games I put in as well, just for a laugh. So yeah, I've fully loaded that, really. There's loads and loads from the basics. And that took up one and a half gigs of space from the old hard drive. So beware if you're going to do this. You do need some hard drive space. So yeah, funky background, though, as you can see. Nice, I like it. A lot of it. Yes, nice. I like it. Now, it's getting really close now that I probably might use this as one of my main desktops. If I can get a couple of extra little programs to work correctly for me, one of those would be, of course, VBox. But it's just getting it to work properly. It don't actually work completely properly just yet. So I open up the browser. Main one now is C Monkey Two. That's what I'm using for the moment. But I've got all the others on there anyway. But yeah, it's ready for the desktop. I think once they get their niggles out of the way, we're ready to rock and roll. Basically, we're ready to rock and roll. Sneaky Linux out.